All right, so this is how I'm gonna mix this meatloaf up. What I've got here in this big mixing bowl is about four and a half pounds of ground beef. Then I ground a pound and a half of bacon up. I just ran it through my grinder. I'm gonna mix that in here with it. I'm gonna use, this is six pieces of white bread that has been soaking in three quarter cups of milk and sitting in the fridge for about an hour. So this is a big onion that I chopped up because I like lots of onions in my meatloaf. So that's a big onion that I chopped up. I have three eggs. In here I have three tablespoons of the spice that I'm gonna put in with this meatloaf. And this is a smoked barbecue meatloaf. So it, it doesn't have ketchup as a base. It's got three quarter cups of barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce of your choice. Gonna get your hands messy at this part. Our bacon. Let's put our onions in there. Here's our three tablespoons of whatever spice we want. And if y'all will message me, I will send you the recipe and the instructions and all that that's written down. But this is how I'm doing it. This is the six pieces of white bread that I cubed up and had soaking in milk for, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes, an hour, something like that. So it's mushy. And then three eggs. One, two, three. And then this is three quarter cups of barbecue so sauce of your choice. Now, let's dig in. All I'm doing is mixing all this stuff up together, making a big ball. All right, after a minute or two of kneading this up, I've pretty much blended all of that meatloaf together. And what I've done in this, this is a meatloaf pan, and what I've lined it with is that press and stick, kind of like cling wrap, fill in these meatloaf pans. I should have enough in here to do three. That's what I'm wanting to do. This is a process. I'm cooking these meatloafs tomorrow for lunch. Okay, so I'm going to come back on and I'm going to do some more stuff to them. So I've got this meatloaf packed in this pan like this. Let me go ahead and flip that over like that. This over like that. This over like that. This over like that. This bad boy is ready to go in the freezer overnight. Now in the morning, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to treat this frozen meatloaf like it's a brisket. I'm going to put a binder on it and I'm going to season this thing just like it's a brisket. And that's pretty much my prep work for a meatloaf. But I got two more pans to fill up and I'm not going to make y'all watch all that. One day later. All right, here we go. We have had these meatloafs in the freezer overnight. So I'm going to take one out. Now it's time to treat this thing like it's a brisket. Pit boss out there warming up to 250 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a binder on this and this is just a Worcestershire sauce. And all that's doing is letting these spices stick to this thing. It's the glue, if you will. Getting all over, because I'm going to do this just like a brisket. I'm going to spice it all over. And I'm going to make a bark on this thing. When it comes out of the smoker, it's going to have a bark. Like you'd see on a classic brisket. But it's also going to have a smoke ring in it. I'm going to use Meat Church, Matt Pittman's spices on it, because that's what I put on a brisket. And then I'm going to come back over the top with some holy gospel. There's my meatloaf getting ready to go to the uh, pit. I got two more to do, I ain't gonna make y'all watch those. I've got this pit boss, it's at 250 degrees. I'm gonna take these meatloafs, put them in here on the bottom rack. That's a baby meatloaf. Didn't have quite as much product for that third one. I'm gonna close this up 
and in about four hours, that's it, y'all. I'll come out here and start probing uh, the temperature in about three and a half hours. When I get that meatloaf to 165 degrees internal temp, I know she's ready to uh, go ahead and put a glaze on her, which is just more barbecue sauce that I'm going to paint across the top of it. And then I'm going to bring them in, let them rest for about five, ten minutes, and then I'll be cutting them up and getting ready to serve. See y'all on the other side. All right, so what I did was I took this barbecue sauce that I had sitting over here, heating up along with it. I've poured it across the top of these meatloafs, and I've spread it around evenly. I'm going to close this back up, let that tack up for five, ten minutes, and then I'm going to pull it inside and let it rest. Then we're going to going to cut it. Moment of truth time. Time for me to get out my big ass spatula. Oh, look at that gorgeous thing. There's my baby meatloaf. And my right in the middle. I'm going to power this down. It is in the shutoff mode, and these pit bosses in their shutoff mode, you hear that it's still going. It's going because it's going to stop putting any more pellets into that feed, and it's ju just going to keep the fan on it to burn everything off. So when I go to clean the ash pot in the morning, it's nothing but ashes in there. It's not half-used pellets. Anyway, time to get inside, let this rest for 10 or 15 minutes, and then y'all are gonna see some finished product. All right, so moment of truth. This is the one that's right in the middle. That's the thin one, that's the medium one, that's the uh, big one. I'm gonna take off this end. Look at that smoke ring. Good boy. See the smoke ring in it? Now look, gonna have to test this. Beautiful smoke ring throughout. Test a piece of this end, like a burn in. Mm. If you don't love this meatloaf recipe, you don't have taste buds.